Hi, this is Bree Noble, and I want to talk to you today about defining your ideal customer profile. Now, this starts with figuring out the demographics of the person, the age range, the gender, um, where they come from, that type of thing. And I'm not going to talk about that today because I've done a video about that already, which I'll put the link down below here if you want to check that out. Um, but I want to go even further with this and kind of tell a story about our customer. So I'm going to take an example of my business and the customer that I'm looking for, and I'm going to call this customer Sarah. I'm choosing Sarah because my daughter for years always was upset that I didn't name her Sarah. So that name has always kind of hung around the house. So let's call her Sarah. Um, she is maybe late 30s, early 40s. She's got two kids. Uh, her kids are in elementary school. So maybe one of them's younger elementary, one of them's upper elementary, but they are in school now. So she's got a little bit more time than she used to um, to not have to have her kids at home all the time. So let's tell a story about her, like her, her morning, her average morning. She gets up, she gets the kids ready for school, gets them lunches, all that. She takes them to school. And after dropping them off at school, she goes by Starbucks and grabs a coffee to uh, help her morning start out right. And then maybe she goes to work at a property management agency in town. Uh, not because she loves working there, but she needs extra money and she can do it while the kids are at school. But um, she only has to work there about four hours a day because that's all the work that they have for her. So it's not really making the kind of money that she's looking for. Uh, so kind of on the side, she's trying to develop a business and she's been trying to figure out what the best business is for her that she can make some money and eventually not have to work at the property management company. So let's see, the rest of her day, she works at her company for four hours. Uh, she comes home, she has just enough time to um, grab some lunch and maybe throw in a load of laundry and work for maybe 30 minutes on her business idea until she has to go pick up the kids at school. She picks them up, she brings them back, they do some homework, they have to run off to soccer practice or gymnastics and then they've got to get home so she can make some dinner for when her husband gets home. Um, she helps the kids a little bit more with homework and she puts the kids to bed and maybe she and her husband sit around and watch um, House of Cards on Netflix or they watch The Voice or something like that and um, enjoy a glass of wine together or a, a nightcap and then they go to sleep and they repeat that all the next day. So when you think about the things that she does and um, that she likes and where she goes, that is your perfect customer. You need to think about those things when you're doing your marketing. And I'm going to continue with this series and talk about more ways that you can incorporate that story into your marketing. So stay tuned um, and keep watching this channel and also brienoble.com where you can get more tips on how to continue this customer story and tailor your marketing for your perfect customer. And I'll see you in the next video.